The FDA has approved the GlaxoSmithKline's respiratory syncytial virus vaccine for people aged 60 and above. But in what has become part of the course, the drug, although approved, will be needing safety monitoring because of course it does. Well, that, my friends, is going to be the subject of today's episode. And so from Trial Site News, I am Adrian, and our episode is starting right now. So, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved the GSK's Arexv, which is the first respiratory syncytial virus vaccine. It is approved for use in the United States. Arexv is approved for the prevention of lower respiratory tract disease caused by RSV in individuals 60 years of age and older. This is the first vaccine produced after over 60 years of research into RSV. One of the primary reasons why it's been so difficult to create a vaccine for the virus is that it evolves its surface proteins quickly, making it quite difficult for the immune system to catch up. Now, Arexv consists of a fragment of a protein that RSV uses to infect cells, training the immune system to watch out for the infection. The vaccine also contains a liposome-based adjuvant that boosts the function of T cells, which are key for effective immunity against viral infections. So what precisely is RSV? Well, it is a highly contagious virus that causes infections of the lungs and breathing passages in individuals of all age groups. In older adults, RSV is a common cause of lower respiratory tract disease, which affects the lungs and can cause life-threatening pneumonia and bronchiolitis, which is swelling of the small airway passages in the lung. RSV circulation is seasonal, typically starting during the fall and peaking in the winter. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, each year in the U.S., RSV leads to approximately 60 to 120,000 hospitalizations and 6 to 10,000 deaths among adults 65 years of age and older. So what is the basis of the FDA's move here? Well, the safety and effectiveness of RxV is based on the FDA's analysis of data from an ongoing, randomized, placebo-controlled clinical study conducted in the U.S. and internationally in individuals 60 years of age and older. The main clinical study of RxV was designed to assess the safety and effectiveness of a single dose administered to individuals 60 years of age and older. Participants will remain in the study through three RSV seasons to assess the duration of effectiveness and the safety and effectiveness of repeat vaccination. Data for a single dose of Arexi from the first RSV season of the study were available for the FDA's analysis. Now, in this study that I mentioned, approximately 12,500 participants have received Arexi and 12,500 participants have received a placebo. Among the participants who have received Arexi and the participants who have received a placebo, the vaccine significantly reduced the risk of developing RSV-associated LRTD by 82.6%. The vaccine significantly reduced the risk of developing RSV-associated lower respiratory tract disease by 82.6% and reduced the risk of developing severe RSV-associated LRTD by 94.1%. Among a subset of these clinical trial participants, the most commonly reported side effects by individuals who received Arexv were injection site pain, fatigue, muscle pain, headache, and joint stiffness and pain. Among all clinical trial participants, atrial fibrillation within 30 days of vaccination was reported in 10 participants who received Arexv and 4 participants who received a placebo. Dr. Peter Marks, the controversial director of the FDA Center for Biologics Evaluation and Research, spoke about the FDA's decision saying that older adults, in particular those with underlying health conditions such as heart or lung disease or weakened immune systems, are at high risk for severe disease caused by RSV. Today's approval of the first RSV vaccine is an important public health achievement to prevent a disease which can be life-threatening and reflects the FDA's continued commitment to facilitating the development of safe and effective vaccines for use in the United States. So what about other research? Well, in two other studies, approximately 2,500 participants, 60 years of age and older, received Arexv. 
In one of these studies in which some participants received a REX fee at the same time as they received an FDA-approved influenza vaccine, two participants developed acute disseminated encephalomyelitis, or ADEM, which is a rare type of inflammation that affects the brain and spinal cord. This occurred 7 and 22 days, respectively, after receiving a REX fee and the influenza vaccine. On top of this, one of the participants who developed ADEM died. In the other study, one participant developed Guillain-Barre syndrome, which is a rare disorder in which the body's immune system damages nerve cells, causing muscle weakness and sometimes paralysis, nine days after receiving a REX fee. And so, the FDA is requiring the company to conduct a post-marketing study to assess the signals of serious risks for Guillain-Barre syndrome and ADEM. In addition, although not an FDA requirement, the company has committed to assess atrial fibrillation in the post-marketing study. Let's hope their safety record is better than Pfizer's and Moderna's going forward. And that, my friends, will bring our episode to a close once more. For more content like this, be sure to check back to this channel daily, Monday through Friday, or for written content published every day, seven days a week, feel free to visit us at trialsitenews.com. And as always, my friends, thank you so much for joining me on the program today. From Trial Site News, I am Adrian, and I will see you all next time.